Hello, today I'm going to be talking about a biological weapon that hasn't even been that much like discovered or anything yet. So what is this weapon? So it's a biological weapon that unites like friends against foes because it's not actually a weapon that is very beneficial. It actually is a double-edged sword. It can kill the thing using it and it can kill the person that it's being used against. So what is it? So, it's not used by people, it's not used by animals, it's used by bacteria. And which bacteria? It's called E. coli. You might have heard of it. It's dangerous, not dangerous. It can be beneficial to you, it cannot be beneficial to you. E. coli lives in your guts, in your intestines. So, it sometimes helps, it sometimes doesn't. It's just a bacteria. So, what it does, is like it has enemy bacteria. Like some bacteria eat E. coli, and if you don't want to be eaten, you have to fight. But some bacteria are stronger than the E. coli, so what does it, it do? So the thing it can do is use a biological weapon. It's called colobactin. Colobactin is like a protein. It's not a protein, though. It's just a substance. It's a substance that attacks bacteria, like other bacteria. But what it does, it goes deep inside the DNA of like the other bacteria that it's trying to kill. But if it used alone, any bacteria can survive colobacter, it, especially if it has defenses. Many of which like E. coli's enemies have defenses against like DNA pre penetration. So what they do is they go inside the DNA, try and chop it up, but the bacteria always heals. So like it never works. So what is the point of this biological weapon? It activates viruses. Viruses that live inside of certain bacteria. Because the viruses have no relation to the E. coli. They don't care about each other and they probably don't even know each other. So what that enzyme does, it just sends a signal to all of the dormant viruses inside of it. There's a specific type of virus that is activated by colobactin. It just stays there dormant until that uh, chemical, protein, enzyme, whatever, substance, colobactin, it just activates and it begins killing the cell from the inside. So while colobactin is like surging through the DNA defenses, a bacteria can usually handle that. But if colobactin comes in from this side, and it handles that, what if something that comes from the opposite side at the same time? That's what E. coli uses. The viruses that are dormant in some bacteria, those get awakened by colobactin, and then it's explosion. It explodes from the inside out, and also from the outside out, outside in, I can't say that. So, it's like everything explodes at one time. Colobactin comes, the viruses from within activate and destroy the bacteria. So can this harm humans? It kind of can and it kind of can't. So what you do is it sometimes causes like colon failure and colon like diseases, but colobactin and the viruses, they don't, they don't like actually kill, kill you. They just kill all of the bacteria that are infected by the virus. So what about E. coli? Does it also get killed by the viruses? No. So it sends the colobactin in and the viruses explode. And when viruses kill bacteria, they reproduce. They like multiply, feeding off of all of the ba bacteria's dead body parts. And when that virus like multiplies, it could just land on the E. coli and decide to live there. And that could be the end of the E. coli because maybe maybe one of its own colobactin like explosions might get itself. So it's a double-edged sword and sometimes it's so like powerful when the bacteria literally explodes that it might get hit with like bacteria or like pieces of the virus and that's very bad for the E. coli. So it's harmful to humans but not harmful. It's also harmful to E. coli but it's not harmful at the same time. But the one thing that is definitely going to be able to kill is the enemy bacteria that are infected by the virus. Because it, it's like a guessing chance. If you use it, maybe the bacteria has been infected by that virus, but maybe it hasn't, and then you're doomed. So that's the thing. These weapons are not like something that can kill everything. It's a double-edged sword, and a 
double-edged sword that sometimes breaks. So be careful with these weapons. And it could, could get you, like, inadvertently. The E. coli doesn't target us with colobactin, but it might, like, accidentally send that. So be careful. Not that you can do anything about that. Thank you for watching. Bye!